Hello my art fantastic viewers, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a cleaning the enclosure. It's going to be two parts, spot cleaning and monthly cleaning. So as you guys know that when you do the spot cleaning, you're literally just going to spot the pee or the poop that is nasty in the cage and you're just gonna take that out. And for monthly cleaning, it's going to be like you're going to take out one fourth or one half of the old bedding and then you're going to mix it with the new bedding You need to do that because if you take out all of the old bedding, your hamster is going to be stressed out because the scent is not in there. It's very important to do that. So the cage that I have is the Preview 528 cage. You're, you can see this on Amazon. Um, it's currently $77. That's how. That's what the amount when I bought it. If you guys hear a background noise, it's the wheel. <laughs> so i'm sorry the things that you need for cleaning is of course a dustpan and a little broom i got this from <laughs> this depends on you if you need it or if you're just gonna like use your vacuum or your hands to pick it up but i find this more helpful and faster to clean. I'm gonna put a screenshot in here on how much is it on Amazon. The next thing you'll be needing is of course sand scooper. This is what you're gonna use for their sand bath to scoop out their poop and clumps of the pee. So yeah, and then um, are you done? Okay, so I got this for free because I got the sand bath. I'm gonna put it here again. It comes with this and I got four of those, I believe. <laughs> this is the screenshot and how much is it. If you only need the scooper, you can search it on Amazon like this or this. As long as it works with you, that's fine. And the next thing that you'll be needing, um, not really needing, but depends on you. But this is the one that I... But this is the one that I use, the cage liner. I find this more... I'm saving up for a silent wheel, so please, like, don't judge me. A silent wheel is just like $30 for one, for one, one silent wheel. So I can't, I can't, like, I'm saving up for that. So bear with me, okay? I find this more helpful for me because whenever I do the monthly cleaning, I'm just gonna roll up the cage with the bedding. So it's like a sushi thing and then I'm just gonna take it out. And then I'm just gonna use my broom to just like scoop up whatever's you know left in the cage when you're ready to do the monthly cleaning make your hamsters comfortable whenever you're doing something in their cage so you need to do it often with, with your hands it's very important for you to like make them be there for a little bit while you're doing the spot clean so what I do is that I put my hands there and let them know that I'm doing something in their home and while they're there, I'm gonna get like a plastic bag or a container so that I can just put the one fourth or one half of the old bedding there and then I have another one, another trash bag which is the 4D nasty stuff that is like really gross and stuff so it's gonna be there so I have two separate bags when I do that For the preview cage 528, 
it's really easy for me because like I'm just gonna take out the bedding, the old bedding, the one fourth or one half, and then when I'm done taking out the clean ones, I'm going to just like lift up the pan of the cage and just like I put all of the rest in the trash bag. So when I'm done doing that, of course I need to make sure the pan is clean. So if you think that there's like pee that's stuck in there, you need to wash it with dish soap and mild water. If it's not, then you're just gonna wipe it with paper towel or whatever. Just make, make sure it's clean. I add the liner and just like mix up the one fourth old clean bedding and then just mix it with the new bedding. Like make sure I mix everything so that all of their scent are like with the new bedding. The next thing that I do is of course I need to check every item that I put inside the cage like their food dish, the tubes, <laughs> oh my god it's really really hard like from experience it's really a pain it's a pain to like maintain the cleanliness of this so I only put this in their cage if like I know I have more time to clean. I'm just warning you that tubes can be a pain to you. Make sure that every item that you put inside the cage is clean like their food dish, their water bottle, their bendy bridges. Sand bath of course, you need to make sure that it's not smelly or it's not like wet. If it's nasty, wash it with dish soap. And the next thing is that of course I dry the stuff with paper towel or hand towel. yeah that's when i arrange their enclosure and make new arrangements and then and their food dishes do the same thing that i did in the that i talked about in the, my first video here on youtube which is the hamster care uh remember the brewer's yeast sprinkle that on top of their food which is two tablespoons of the food and then sprinkle it with a little amount of brewer's yeast And of course, I want to tell you guys that spot cleaning is like if you guys are using water dishes, like water bowls, you need to clean the water dishes every single day because it's more exposed in the air. It's like there's more bacteria into it. So yeah, that's like a health issue. So the water that I use for them is like the same water that we're drinking, so a purified water. The wheel goes for monthly cleaning or spot cleaning because some hamsters love to pee on the wheel and it's a pain but it's just how it is. If you see that their wheel is nasty, you need to wash it. Wash it! Don't just wipe it because like it's ugh, just like it's it's mm -mm, just not no Bear in mind that if you left their enclosure like really nasty or whatever, like you didn't clean it even for one week, it's gonna cause them stress. So you don't want that. Like seriously, don't don't do that. Like do spot cleaning please every day. Of course, since you're cleaning, you should always be organized. I did some labels. So this is a label. So this is their hamster food. I know it's almost gone. I'm ordering chill this is their hamster food and their foraging herbs the millets 
can love this. And hamster bath. So looking for containers is really a pain. But for me, thank thanks to my mom. Because <laughs> if you guys recognize this, I'm gonna show a clip. So if you guys recognize this, it's funny because like I'm the one who like need to finish all of the ones since all of the biscuits or whatever i don't know how you call that in english but yeah all of the pretzels or whatever and i just like finish it up just so i can get the container and yeah it works pretty well it's worth it so this is the label that i did if you guys want a label by the way i do labels just like dm me on my instagram account at art fantastic as well we can talk about that just dm me there because i do art commissions as well for the treats as well like you need to be organized so this is their treats just like seeds and then this is their for more forging herbs and blueberry seeds and more treats So that's it for the video. I hope you guys like it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, share this to your friends or your family because it's just part of hamster care basically. I just like put them down in notes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.